Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're playing Drachmare, my level 18 cleric, and we were on our way to Guck when Richard Heat saw this guy. He was a blue to him, so he went ahead and pulled him, and he beat my face in. <laughs> just he um he was a he was a hard blue. Let's just say that. I ended up giving myself a few heals, went back in, and I uh, and continued trying to kill him. He um he ended up being um for a paladin quest. Uh, the nice thing is that the pelt is not no drop, so we ended up looting it. Um, so if anyone ever wanted to try to do the quest, they can. But for some reason, it's listed as a level forty quest. I don't understand that because the item that you get out of it is a ten AC, ten wisdom shield. And it's not a back item, it's only an offhand item. It doesn't make any sense for a level 40 to be using that that piece. But either way, uh, it was a fun fight, and that's all that really mattered. Uh, we ended up having uh, checking out Guck, and it was just over full. So we we came up to High Hold, killing the Knolls. Sir Buttons is AC Gamer. We had Harpua, who was Nonal 3. We also had Shariki. And Richard Heat both play Enchanters and uh, had a great time up here. Got pelts, got experience, and for some reason, level 18 just took forever for me to finish. I think it knew that it was a um, an experience level or that it was a, a spell level that I've been waiting for. Um, not really. It's not not one that I've been waiting for so much because it doesn't really give me much. But uh, it is um, towards heading to another heal, which is always, always a positive. So um, after this, I went ahead and uh, went to Fadar to complete some of the portions for my Inarok symbol or the, the necklace. Uh, with AC Gamer, he was playing his level 30 warrior. The way it works is you have to take supplies to the dark elf dragoon who is in lesser fate arc where everybody dies at some point because they don't know about him and so you hand in um the supplies he hands you a receipt asks you to go talk to uh this gnome and steam fought because they lost their last supplies so you go and talk to the gnome they say that look there's this um there's this high elf who ended up taking the supplies last time and apparently there's something very important in in the supplies that was sent it's a special item so we ended up telling them that you're there be on behalf of the dragoon they said i've been talking to this guy from Felwith, and he is going to meet me here to discuss the supplies and we want you to go ahead and hijack him, kill him. Come to find out this guy is level 28. I wasn't ready for him. So he went ahead and um, he spawned. Luckily, AC was on his level 30 warrior. Took him out. He was such an easy kill. And you end up getting his head. Uh, and you also get the supplies. You take those supplies back to the dragoon and you get a voucher. So you have two vouchers and um, the uh, head of the high elf. We'll go ahead and finish the rest of the story later on. So anyway, we were already here in Lesser Fate Arc. Uh, AC said, why don't we just go ahead and go to Mistmore, get some experience. Um, come to find out that uh, Graveyard had one slot open and um, the pool um had two slots so ac went ahead and went to the graveyard i was here and uh we ended up just talking about what's going on on each side hanging out and, and whatnot and uh this group ended up crumbling so i went ahead and uh head back to the mainland and i uh, was able to complete my quest which i'll show you that in a minute so one thing about Mesmore is it's fast kills. Don't get me wrong. I like the the zone because of this, especially this camp. You can have nonstop pulls uh, if you do it right. And uh, yeah, it's great and all. 
but for for me it wasn't going fast enough i don't know if it's because i was the lowest man on the total pole which is um very understandable because again i'm still level 18 i should, probably shouldn't even be in this zone but being a cleric you know how it is um clerics don't have to be a certain level they're like oh you heal okay we'll we'll take you into the group well that's that's how it was for me that's how i got in this group though that said there were three clerics in the group so i ended up helping with dps a little bit i used my um staff of the water of water walking and so on so here it is you have two of the receipts or vouchers you have silver moon's head and then you turn in your previous necklace um, and you end up getting the necklace with clinging darkness on it. Now, this has no charges. This is something you can use all the time. And it actually, though the necklace I was wearing had nine wisdom on it, this, because it had just the small amount of mana on it, uh, ended up being better for my mana pool. So I went ahead and wore that necklace instead of the other one. Very, very cool quest. Definitely should do it if you're a troll or cleric who follows in a rook. Um, I'm sorry, a troll shaman or, or cleric that follows in a rook. So it's 4 a.m. Let's set the scene. I want to get level 19 before I log off. I come over here. I'm like, okay, I can go to Guck. But if I go to Guck, I'm, I'm going to have to solo. If I solo, most likely I'm going to get killed. Uh, if I go to Unrest, people were probably camping it because there was a full group, if not more, of 20s in, in Unrest still at, the, at this time. So I was like, where do people always say to go at, the, at these levels? So I was like, okay, Kern's Tower, this is going to suck because it's going to be a long run. Ended up getting a port over to uh, EJ. Funny story. The person who ended up porting me to EJ just ported me without any invis or anything else and just left me. And I was like, okay, I, I got to go. So I bolted as soon as we landed. And um, I ended up having like two gorillas and one other thing on me by the time I finally reached the, the zone line to uh, fill the bones bound uh, at the uh, entrance to uh, Kearns and ended up getting my level really fast being that I'm an undead killer it, the experience went really fast kills went really fast as you can see right there and just had an overall great time being a cleric now this guy is geared as a little bit tanky versus say um, some other clerics out there. He does have the um, the face spider carapace. He's wearing a full set of um, Terror Dow. Uh, I think I ended up getting two uh, Rune Mithril Bracers for him as well. And he just overall has some really decent stats. So was able to handle myself pretty well. Didn't have to heal too often. And I was just looting boot chips just because. But anyway, guys, this is it. That was my day. I had a, such a great day. Finally got level 19. And that was really the most uh, important thing for me. By the way, a guildy was here. He was doing bone chips. I, I didn't know that humans could do the shackle quest. But apparently he could. Uh, he got his faction up. I know that um, Shadow Knights will never be able to do the green mist unless they're Ixar. Or Ixar. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to separate into two words. Um, but monks, I didn't know that they could actually do that quest if they weren't um, if they weren't XR. So that is a really cool thing to to, to know uh, for those of you out there who who might want to do that. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time. This is Cipher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.